Okay, yeah, we've seen this before. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Castlevania 64. My name is Dario, and I have to make a quick apology. Um, I was doing pretty good with my upload schedule, and then I kind of stopped for a week. <laughs> um, truth be told, I ran out of... Um, I, I recorded ahead pretty well, but then it got to the point in between you know, like, ex like uploading the video, exporting it, all that stuff. It would take hours, and eventually I just ran out of time because uh, I had school and other things uh, get in the way, so... And it kind of worked out for the better because I quickly realized that I didn't have enough... There what This game isn't big enough to sustain 31 days, and that was my original intention, but... Now that a week's been cut out, I uh, think we can make it all the way up to the 31st now, so... Anyways, enough blabbering. Um, last time we left off, we left off at... Castle Center. Um, now, I actually did record one more part after this, but I didn't get a chance to edit it together. Um, so... But... I will take this opportunity to... I'm going to put aside Reinhardt for a little bit, because before we get too far ahead into a story, there are things that I wanted to show off as the other character, Carrie. So we're going to... This isn't like a do-over or anything, but she does have... She is her own unique character, has her own story, and um, little exclusive things to her campaign, if you will. So I'm going to show those things off, and tie up some loose ends that I made during my first playthrough as Reinhardt, so without further ado, let's begin. We're going to be starting off on hard, like we were on Reinhardt, and we're going to be playing as Carrie's second costume as well. Now, her intro is going to be the same as Reinhardt's, for the most part, except one little tidbit, so... Oh, here's our, here it is. Carrie Fernandez, a young girl gifted with great magical powers. Sensing Dracula's return, she sets off alone to the Dark Castle. Now, she must wield her inherited power in the fight against evil. Whatever awaits, I have no regrets. So, everyone, this is Carrie Fernandez. Um, this is her secondary uh, outfit that you get after beating the game. With her, with both special crystals, um, I could not spaz out real quick and try to get a good view of it. Um, a lot of sites will say this is a 50 schoolgirl outfit, but it actually, to anyone who's a fan of the series, it actually is Maria, Mi Maria Renard. Uh, it's her outfit, and she was in, I believe, Symphony Tonight. I think I got that right. Um, I, sh I looked it up before, like, a while back, and I forgot, but I believe, I'm pretty sure that's correct, and, um, but Carrie Fernandez, as I was saying, whereas Reinhardt's related to the Belmont clan, she's related to the, um, Belnades, Belnades clan, um, uh, Silfa, um, Silfa from... Castlevania 3, I believe. She's related to that family, and... So, yeah. She's... Wait. Okay. I'm not gonna show this cutscene. Because I've already seen it. Um, her magic is... Well, that's her... Is her attack. It's magic. She... You hold B, and she gains this orb, and then you fire it, and it does that. And... Pretty much it. Uh, Reinhardt's is a sword, whereas hers are these rings. 
Um, I'm guessing they're sharp because you can cut things. And if you actually charge up your beam and then swipe, you actually can do like a good amount of damage on things. So hopefully I'll get a chance to show her original costume at some point. I'm sure I will. Um, actually, well, maybe not. I don't know. But it's kind of interesting because, um, for one, I never actually, ooh, I should play a little bit. Just so you can see. I'm not going to go through the whole level as her. Um, but it's funny because I actually, I've played, only, I've only beaten this game as Carrie like probably three times. Whereas with Reinhardt, I beat the game like probably 30 times. Um, so when I was playing through to, you know, get her the costume and stuff, I actually was having a little bit of a hard time. Nothing too difficult, but... Um, still a little difficult nonetheless. So, and also I'm going to use this video to uh, correct some of my mistakes. Because um, when I started off this series, I was uh, just a tad unprepared. Let me get these real quick. Um, I said this thing was called the Giant Skeleton, which... It kind of is, and it kind of isn't. Um, a lot of guides and a lot of places refer to, refer to this as the giant skeleton, but I believe in the guide itself, like one of the official guides, it's called the giant ape skeleton. So that is this thing's official name. Or as official as it'll get, I guess. But anyways, I'll play with her a little bit longer. Um... I was in the midst of saying something, I believe, and I completely spaced. Um, little, I think I was saying that, yeah, I haven't played as Carrie too much. It was a little bit of a challenge. And let's see, her background is she's related to the Belnatis clan, who are source, you know, magic users. Um, and believe it or not, she's actually 12, like... I didn't know this actually until recently. I always thought she was like... I knew she was like a young girl, but... Like... It's like a 12-year-old girl going up against, um... Dracula. Um... So, I can keep blabbing on, but... Uh... I think... I wanna... Like, I don't wanna just redo the first level, so... I'll continue... Myself talking... Um... In a different scenery, so... Um... See you guys there. Alright, so I figured, you know, since this video is also about, you know, atoning for mis mistakes I've made, uh, I figured I could show this one off. Um, when I did this as Reinhardt, I failed co colossally, so let me show you how this is really supposed to be done. There you go, look at that. I actually think I could have made it like on one of these higher ones if I did it right. Um, I think it's worth noting, at least it feels this way. Um, I believe Carrie is faster and can jump higher. You know that, that would make sense because you know she's a little girl, and but I think the trade-off of that is she takes more damage. Because when I was fighting that, like um, one of the the mini bosses here. Uh, he like threw me twice, and I'll, I'm like already down to half health. So I think, yeah, the characters do have different stats, or you know, different um, things against them. So uh, that's another thing worth noting about playing as different characters. Uh, so, anyways, um, moving on. Oh, at least it gives me a chance to show this off again. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. Well, hold on. We. Um, this one, like, this one's a lot more dangerous than. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it too much. I'll do it one more. Um, 
This one's a lot more dangerous because you can actually fly out of the level. And we'll until you get hit, of course. We're back. Oh boy. And as I mentioned, like a lot of the levels really aren't too different. Um, outside the odd, like, exclusive one that either of them have. Let's see. And wow, really? Did I just like walk into that like a moron? Like, if you're actually really good at this, you can actually. Um, like speed through this really fast with carry. I mentioned in Reinhardt's playthrough, I didn't know what the name of these things were, but now I do. Who knew that a simple Google search can change things? Uh, this is called the Guardian Skella Dragon. Um, that's news to me. Oop. And as you can see, this is a lot easier with Carrie's jumps. Hey look, see this is good. Look at her dress you can finally get. Yeah, all you have to do is hide behind this. Or no you don't. Let's see how well this one goes. Probably... Mm. You know what? I'm not gonna stop. Let's just keep running. Like I'm not gonna press down on the control stick at all. Let's see where we go. Well. I don't know when it happened, but this actually became a really hard part, just getting these precise jumps. I think the problem is I think about it too much, like... It's one of those things where you gotta do it and not think about it. Ah, uh, crap. I'm gonna use one of these. You know, think how cool these would be in real life, like... Sun and Moon cards, like... Why the hell does Dracula have Sun and Moon cards? Like... I mean, I wish I could ask him, like, right now, since he's on screen, but, like... Like... I mean, okay, actually, you know what? The, I, I got it. Shut up, I'm, I'm talking. I, I think... the What he would use it for is that, like... Because, like, in this game, enemies are stronger at night than they are during the day, right? So... You know, he created. He had these moon cards created, so that way, you know, his his forces would be powerful. And because everything has to have a balance, he created sun cards too, just in case. Okay, that theory kind of fell apart. Here's something funny I could show. If I just no, oh, oh. oh. I was not trying to show an upskirt, upskirt shot, I, I swear. I was I was trying to show how she looks when she slides. Uh, oh. See, look at these. These are a joke now. All you gotta do is just run into them. <laughs> I guess I'll waste some time going out of focus. You would never see a house that, like, in the four, four year, four year, has only the front door, a door on, you know, the one door on the bottom floor, and then another door up there. Like, look at all this. Like, who designs a house like this? No one does. Um, and I guess another fun fact about this place, uh, the villa is that it actually is the front part of it, which, I don't know, what time is it? It's four or six, I got time. I mean, <laughs> that's also another funny thing. Like you never see, you never see someone just like leap off the, the balcony to reach the front door really fast. Yes, yeah, so the front part of this, um, it's based off of a, 
an actual villa in France. I can't pronounce the name of it, nor can I remember it, but yeah, the front part of it, and I doubt the interior is, but... So, I think I'll show off this cutscene because it actually is kind of different. I wish to water the roses. Please step aside. Who are you? What are you doing in this place? I am Rosa. I look after these white roses. White roses? Wow, I got a horrible carry voice. I'll try to do better, but no promises. You, you're a vampire. Why have you no fear? None but vampires and demons live here. Wandering carelessly in this place will soon cost you your life. But you are somehow different from these creatures of evil. Such sentimentality will cost you your life. I will regret, forget I saw you. Flee now. While Dracula exists, children live in terror. I cannot desert them. As you will. First you must go- oh, First you must go to the castle archives- Wow, I'm forgetting my voices. The key to the archives. Ah, yes. A previous adventurer took it. He wore like this red outfit and a skirt and carried a whip. Blonde hair. Sound familiar? I can help you no more. Do not lose your life too quickly. And say goodbye, because that's the last you'll see of Rosa. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rosa plays a bigger part in Reinhardt's story, and Carrie, not so much. She, if I recall correctly, just has this one one scene, and that's it. Carrie's scenes are replaced with something else, which you'll see in due time. Um, but yeah, I started forgetting my voices like at the end there. I thought there was something here. Apparently not. Uh, we got another cutscene here. Or rather, the same cutscene that we've seen before, but different dialogue. You know, Carrie's a witch, isn't this harmer? Don't move! Not even a finger! All right, you appear to be a genuine human. I am Charlie Vincent, the mightiest of all vampire killers. You look like a villager. Are you lost in the forest? Don't treat me like a child. My mission is to save the world from Dracula. Don't talk nonsense. Leave Dracula to me. He is not the sort of opponent for an amateur like you. You presume too much. Speak not of the matter that does not concern you. Obstinate youth, I will give you one more warning. Leave this place without delay. Do you understand? And that's pretty much it. You know, if there's one good thing about, like, going past these levels, um, it's that I can talk about them in kind of, like, a little bit more leisurely, because, you know, beforehand, there was a lot of stuff I was explaining, and, uh, you know, talking about the mechanics of the game, or the backstory, or this or that, like, and very little, like, interjecting my thoughts in it. Um, but since I've already shown off most of the stuff, I get a chance to, like, do this, for example. Like, I never... You know, I, did, I figured we didn't have time to show off this, but 
Yeah, you come up here and there's a knife which I was about to pick up, but yeah, look at that! Wow, I didn't realize it does that. Like it zooms out and everything. That's pretty cool. How about if we go this way? Oh crap! I didn't know the game did this. That's really cool. It's like an actual lookout point. Huh. It's not gonna work if I do this. Or no, it won't. But wow, it's really cool. Who's there? Please help, help me. What's a little child doing here? I'm Carrie. You're safe now. My name is Malice. Malice? What are you doing here all alone in this terrible place? Wow, I can't get these voices. They burned down the village. My home. My mother and father too. That's awful. They took all the children to the castle. The devil in the black cloak was looking for a certain child and then... Then... My head hurts. I don't remember. Are you alright? You're tired. That's enough. Stop! It's dangerous to run away alone. Alright. We ain't scared of anything. Alright. So, cool thing is, I could just... This is gonna be a more leisurely run through the maze. And, uh, it used leisurely a little bit loosely. Uh... And I say it's gonna be a little bit more leisurely because Carrie if you can tell, can move a lot faster than Reinhardt, so... You don't need to haul ass like you did before. Um, like, watch this, watch this, watch this. No, that wasn't as cool as I envisioned, but whatever. So, we're gonna do something different. You know, the goal of this is obviously to follow Malice, but... If you run over here... Secret area. So, I don't remember what's over here actually, let's take a look. So we got nothing. Chicken. Oh, full on chicken, cool. Doing a lot better than I thought. And I think that's it. <laughs> look at this guy, he's doing laps. Oh, oh, let's catch him, let's catch him coming this way. So... Yep. Anyways, it's enough dawdling. Alright, more bad voice acting. You've come this far. Once you're through the forest, you're safe. Watch out for the demons in the forest. You know, maybe it'll change once we get to later levels, but... Carrie's dialogue seems so generic, like... You know, Reinhardt taught, like... He talked, but he kind of, like... He had, like, personality in his voice a little bit, like... You know, at that scene, uh, he said, like... Basically the same thing, but, like, you know, he's like, You're a man, you can do it. You know, like... And just other little stuff like that, like... He just had more personality. And also, I didn't show this off before, but I will now. Um, in case you want to, like, a quick escape back out, you just go through here. Ooh, that was... I'm not gonna lie, that kind of scared me. I didn't expect him to literally be right there. Does she have a shorter range when she throws things? I have a feeling I'm just imagining it, though. Whoa, dude, what the hell? The, the hell is going on over here? All right.
Oh, oh, whoa, okay, this just got a little, you know, too hot to handle. Come right here. Come for me. Nice. So yeah, I'm sorry this video was basically a rehash of the first three levels, but um, I did want to show off, like, things exclusive to carry and get you a sense of how her playstyle is and her movement and this and that. In the next episode, we will be tackling something brand new, a level I haven't shown before, and personally I don't like it as much as Reinhardt's tunnel level, but, well, you guys will see for yourself. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.